all right folks it's story time now a couple of months ago i made a huge financial mistake to purchase a very very expensive piece of equipment that honestly i kind of regret buying but before you blast me in the comment section folks please give me a second to explain now as much as i regret spending the money to get this lens at the end of the day i'm still kind of happy with the purchase financially probably not the best idea i've ever had because you see a couple of months ago i ended up buying a leica 35 millimeter sumicron version 4 and this is the king of bokeh i even got the stupid little lens hood adapter for it um, and it's just ridiculously expensive and i wanted a sumicron lens because the lens that i had on it which let me grab it real quick was this thing right here, which is the Voigtlander Color Scope Bar 35mm 2.5. It only had a uh, 2.5 max aperture. And for some reason, I thought that one, Leica lenses were sharper, and two, that little, you know, one quarter stop of light is gonna help improve my photographs. And let me be honest with you, they did not. The Voigtlander lens cost me around 350 bucks, and the Leica lens cost me about $1,800. That's almost a 100 no that's like a 400 percent increase in price the 350 dollar lens does about 90 percent of what the sumicron does and although there's an image quality difference in that the sumicron is a little sharper i don't know if that price gap is justified based off of just sharpness and to make matters worse i just sold this lens this week so i have to get this shipped out later in the day but the voigtlander lens focuses it even has a nice little focus tab it's pretty smooth it opens up from 2.5 and it stops down to f22 which the leica lens doesn't even do and i also had this really nifty square lens hood that was 3d printed for me um, and it looked really good on my m2 i shot all of crosswalk my photo project on crosswalks with this lens and uh for over a year and a half or maybe a year only this was the only lens that i used on my leica then I picked up this thing and I started shooting with it probably, I want to say I got it in June or July. I have no idea when I got it, but, um, you know, I was trying to forget about it because I knew if I, if I kept thinking about it, I would regret it more and more and more. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I got the lens, I tested it out. Yeah, it was sharper than the, uh, the Voigtlander color scope bar. But again, it does, this lens does about 90% of what the $1,800 lens will do. Now, I will say this lens has been probably one of the best lenses that I've used when it comes to Leicas. I've only used a handful of lenses. That lens, oh, I bit my tongue. The Voigtlander lens, the Canon 50mm LTM lens, and then now this one. And uh, out of the out of the few that I've tried, you know, this is definitely the smoothest. Um, it's also the sharpest. And uh, like I said, it's a really cool lens. Now, going back to the decision of purchasing this lens and kind of that whole financial mistake. First of all, I'm not rich. I don't have the bread like that. I mean, I'm stable enough financially to be able to purchase this lens, but I wouldn't say that I have the means to purchase this lens over and over again. So, you know, this was a big purchase for me. And when I thought about it, my initial intention was, you know what, just get the lens out of the way. I've been itching to get a Sumicron lens. I knew for a fact that I didn't need one, but for some reason I still wanted one. And I don't know what it was because I knew that when I got this lens, I wasn't going to post pictures of it. I wasn't going to brag about it. I wasn't going to be out there telling everybody, hey, I picked up a Sumicron. Matter of fact, I had, this is going to be the first video addressing this lens out of you know all the videos that I've had or all the time that I've had this lens. And it's because I was really embarrassed to show you guys that I bought this lens because you know I personally I, I like to I like to look for deals. I like to look for you know cameras at thrift stores, cameras on eBay. I even shoot expired film to cut the cost of shooting film and to come on here and show you guys a lens that cost you know just as much as rent. <laughs> you know uh, but yeah I have the lens now. Do I regret buying it? Yes. Do I regret owning it? No. I love this lens. I love the way it renders color. I love the way it looks in black and white as well. I think it's a really, really good lens. It's really sharp. But at the same time, again, I do regret spending the money for it. So that's kind of the story behind um, <laughs> my $1,800 lens. Let me know if you guys have had any pieces of gear that you've bought before that you really didn't like or, excuse me, that you regret buying. Um, because I feel like everybody at some point in time, especially if you shoot film, probably have bought that really high piece of gear and just 
ended up regret buying it. So thank you guys for checking out another King James video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know again in the comment section down below what you guys think and hit that subscribe button for more film photography and street photography content. As always, folks, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Don't make my mistakes and um, just don't go for those high price ticket items and uh, you'll be financially stable and you won't have to eat ramen.